Jungle Pie. Hi, everyone. Hello, Hello Lucy. Lucy. Good evening, Nelson. Oh, hello, Lucy. What are you doing? Ah, Friday is Cabbage Day at the zoo, and cabbages are my favourite food. Oh, yum! A red one! Delicious! Here, try one! Ah, no, not for me, thanks. Cabbage tastes yuck! Yuck? Yuck? How can you say that? Have you ever tried eating cabbage, Lucy? Well... No, I haven't. But it looks so... cabbagey. Perhaps I should tell you a special story. It's not a story about cabbages, I hope. Oh, oh no, no. Not cabbages. This is a story about a jungle pie. Kevin the crocodile, Doris the duck, and Toby the tortoise were having a picnic in the jungle. Mm. Mogo chips. And Tweak burgers. I wouldn't eat anything else. Yoo-hoo! Would you like some fruit for dessert? Oh, yes, please, Georgina. Oh, a yum-yum fruit. I'll have some grapes. What would you like, Kevin? Uh, nothing, thanks. I don't eat fruit. What? You don't eat fruit? No. But it's fun to try new foods. No. Eating twig burgers and mogo chips is more fun. Oh, what a shame. Oh. I wished I could convince Kevin to try different foods. I needed a plan and some helpers. Listen, everybody. That's all agreed, then. Yes. Natalie, let's put the plan into action. Righto, Nelson. No, Toby. This is how you play duck in the water. <laughs> like this? Mm, not bad for a tortoise. Look at me, Doris! <laughs> Hi, everyone. I've got exciting news. Georgina wants us to bake a jungle pie. It's going to be the yummiest thing ever. Can you come and help? Of course. Not me. I only eat twig burgers and mogo chips. Oh, um, well... That's fine, Kevin. We'll cook a twig burger just for you. All that we ask is that you help us prepare the jungle pie. A deal? Mm, deal. <laughs> <laughs> First, 
Kevin helped Nelson grow vegetables for the jungle pie. Um, mm -hmm. oh, oh. Uh, Kevin, do be careful, please. Sorry. Here, I'll show you how to harvest carrots. Uh. You have to do it slowly so the carrots don't snap. That's it. Everything okay, Kevin? Mm -hmm. Hurry up, Kevin. Don't forget you have to help Herbert as well. Oh, Kevin was surprised to find mm. the carrot tasted sweet. No jungle pie is complete without some yummy worms. Now, let me show you how to catch worms the warthog way. <laughs> Your turn, Kevin. <laughs> you'll, you'll get used to the taste. No, I won't. <laughs> but secretly, Kevin quite liked the worm. It tasted a bit like a mogo chip, only squishier. It was time to collect bumbleberries. Ready, everyone? Yes! Here goes! And remember, no snacking. <laughs> 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 Kevin wanted to try a bumbleberry too. It was juicy and yummy. But do we have to have worms? Of course, they're the best bit. Oh, wonderful bumbleberries. <laughs> have you two been snacking? Oh, no, Georgina, no, we'd never do that. And here are the carrots. Oh, thank you, Nelson. Kevin, would you like to stir the mixture? Oh, yes, please. That's it. Stir it gently and don't let anyone snack. While you stir, I will take care of the oven. Kevin decided to have a little taste. So, Kevin, how's it going? Well done, Kevin. Come on, everyone. Time to bake this pie. Finally, the pie was baking in the oven. Then I remembered my promise to Kevin. I'll be back soon. The animals waited. I think it's ready. Careful, Nelson. It will be hot. Here, use this. Oh, thank you, Doris. Uh, stand back, everyone. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Wait a minute, Herbert. The pie is steaming hot. <laughs> <laughs> the best ever, without a doubt. Yoo-hoo! I'm back! And this is for you, Kevin. Oh, what's the matter, Kevin? Oh, nothing. It's just I'm not that hungry. Try some jungle pie instead. 
Um, okay. Mm. Well... It's delicious! <laughs> and that's how Kevin the Crocodile learned to eat new things. It's fun to taste new things. That's right. Nelson, I think I would like to taste some of the cabbage. Oh! Thank you. Well? I like it! Hooray! And now it's time for bed. Ooh, good night, everyone. Good night, Lucy. The story of the cooking contest. Whee! Hi, everyone. Hi, Lucy. What have you got in there? It smells yummy. Oh, it's just some muffins I made. I never knew you could cook, Lucy. My mum helps me. It's really good fun. Delicious! <laughs> I think cooking food is just as much fun as eating it. Can I have a muffin too, please, Lucy? Of course you can. Sorry, Cassandra. I hadn't seen you there. Mm. You really are an excellent cook, Lucy. Just like Bow Bow the Panda and Horace the Hare. Do they make muffins too? No, not muffins, no. But why didn't I tell you the story of the great cooking contest? Oh, yes. That sounds delicious. Far away in the east, by the So High Mountains, Gertie the goat was dining at her favourite spot. Gertie is a good friend of mine, but I don't always approve of her table manners. I don't know how you can eat in such funny positions. <laughs> but it's so tasty. <laughs> Eating is about fine food and good company. I'm good company. <laughs> Horace the Hare and Bow Bow the Panda had been listening. Hey, Cassandra, I bet you'd like a meal cooked by me. I'm an excellent chef. You, Horace? <laughs> Horace may be good chef, but Bow Bow cook many very good dish. Maybe Bow Bow better cook than Horace. Oh! I was delighted that there oh. were two cooks who shared my love of good food. It seems there's only one way to decide who is the best chef. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. No, Gertie. We must have a cooking contest. You and I, get will each try out a meal prepared by Bao Bao and compare it with one cooked by Horace. We will then decide which is the best. <laughs> now, do you both accept the challenge? <laughs> I wonder who will cook us the best meal? Horace. I bet it's Horace. Really? I think the winner will be Bao Bao. But to tell you the truth, I fear neither will be very good. If you don't like the food, then can I have your portion? <laughs> Bao Bao had gathered enough bamboo for his meal, but suddenly a rather worrying thought came into his head. What if Bao Bao's guest not like bamboo? Bao Bao must seek advice. Whenever any of the animals of the Sohai Mountains had a problem, they went to see Confusus. Uh, greetings. Who comes seeking advice from Confusus the Wise? It's me, Bao Bao. 
Bar Bar prepare beautiful bamboo meal for friends, but what if friends not like bamboo? Confuse us, say. A meal shared with friends is the time for friends to share a meal. Thank you, always oh, confuse us. Bao Bao didn't understand what the wise old carp meant, but he was sure it must be good advice. Everybody loves carrots, obviously, but there are so many ways to cook them. Uh, what if I choose the wrong recipe? Eh? Eh. Greetings. Who come seeking advice from Confusers the Wise? Me, Horace. What's the best way to cook carrots? A good meal is prepared not in the kitchen, but in the heavens above. Oh, right. Uh, thanks for that. Horace had no idea what Confusers meant, but hoped he might be able to work it out later. Bao Bao, meanwhile, was starting to feel nervous about the cooking contest. Bao Bao must meditate before guests arrive. Unfortunately, Bao Bao's meditation made him feel a little too relaxed. Horace was feeling the pressure too. Guests fall asleep. <laughs> Big hug. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what's for dinner? Before dinner, we have starter. Gertie and I weren't enjoying our starters. No. Keep eating. Perfect. Now, what else do we need? Music. Yes, some nice relaxing music. Oh, that's better. <laughs> More big hug for Baba's guest. All this hugging and music is all very well, but where's the nosh? Gertie is correct. We are still awaiting our main courses. Huh? It was time for Bao Bao and Horace to get busy. <laughs> Two bamboo specials. Carrot surprise coming up. <laughs> Guests have wrong dish. Please to stop. Oh. Oh. Mm. My, my. That was marvelous. Combining the bamboo and the carrot was a master stroke. <laughs> uh, but uh, who won? Both of you, of course. You two go together like, like bamboo and carrot. You make a really good team. Ooh. Any chance of seconds? Confusus was right. A meal shared with friends is the time to share a meal with friends. And he said a good meal is not prepared in the kitchen, but in the heavens above. <laughs> he must have known our food was going to fly up in the air and get mixed up. 
We all agreed Confucius was a wise fish indeed. Thanks for my story, Cassandra. I've never cooked bamboo and carrot together. I can't wait to give it a try. Maybe it's a little late in the evening for cooking. In fact, it's more like time for... Bed. I know. Good night, Lucy. And thanks for baking us muffins. Good night, everyone. <laughs>